going on guys uh pudge man here i uh doing a quick little video on just stuff i do to get ready for the winter season um i'm in no way a know-it-all or anything i don't know everything so a lot of this video is just kind of me doing some i don't want to say guesswork because i mean this is stuff i really do i'm not just putting stuff together saying oh i think this is a good idea um Basically, what gave me the idea to do this because I've been watching guys on YouTube. Well, one in particular that I watch like every day. His name, uh, the Low Buck Prepper. Check him out. Uh, he's really, he's a really cool guy. Does a lot of different things. Uh, talks about a lot of different things. He's just a real cool, down to earth dude. Uh, send him a few emails every now and then. He always responds back. And he's just a really cool dude. Um, so. Basically, I'm just putting this video out there because I give my assist guidance. This first video is going to be kind of horrible because my first video like this. So I didn't really know what to talk about. I should have thought about it a little more. But, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. That's the whole reason I'm putting this out here. Because some of the other guys, that would be awesome if they would see this and give me some of their ideas. Like Low Buck and uh, Modoc. 42. He's another good dude. Uh, <clears throat> uh, another guy, Neil uh, Cooey. I watch his videos. My main prepper. He's a pretty cool dude. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, check out Lobuck. He, uh, he's definitely what inspired me to do these videos. So, alright, without further ado, hope you enjoy it. Like I said, any suggestions, just feel free to leave them. I'd love to improve. For my family's sake, at least. So, all right, here's the video. Thanks, guys. Uh, decided to give you guys a little change of scenery, as opposed to always being stuck in my room with me during my videos. So, I guess you could think of this as a uh, field trip. I guess. Uh, wanted to do this video because you know it's February and the the prime of uh, snowstorm season. So I just want to do a quick video of stuff that I've done, preps I take, before a storm hits. Or just, you know, prepping for winter in general. Because you just never know what to expect. I'm not really sure, um... I'll tell you what. I set a timer for 8 minutes. So, whatever I can get done in 8 minutes, that's what this video will be about. Uh, I know I won't get through a lot, so I'll probably end up cutting breaking this up into a few videos, I don't know. Uh, just wanted to, I don't know, just let people know what I do from my experiences. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is food and staying hydrated and stuff. Uh, I love Gatorade, and I couldn't pass this up. It was, uh, I believe it was 10 for 9 bucks or 10 for 10 bucks. So, for a buck a piece, that's pretty good. Especially for some reason now I'm seeing that they're even more expensive than what they used to be. Like over, I don't know, a dollar or fifty almost. Uh, just noticed I didn't bring any of my water bottles out. So, I'll use this. Take this out of my little pack here. Just make sure you have water, you know. Um, it's recommended that you keep on hand at least one gallon a day per person for any given day. It's definitely a good starting point. Uh, the way I looked at it was sat down, how much would I normally drink? Uh, take in the type of foods, that needs water. Uh, tomato soup, that needs water. Uh, how much if I would drink or eat say these two things in a day, how much would I need on top of drinking and plus hygiene, uh, other things like that. So you, you gotta take a lot of that into effect. Anyway, I digress. A lot of people, believe it or not, don't like water. They don't like the taste of it. Don't like the smell of it, apparently. Don't like the look of it. I don't know. They just don't like it. So what I did, because my wife is one of those people, she hates water. She despises it. So I went out to Walmart, got a couple of these great value uh, little drink mixes. And basically, this one's grape. I love this one. I don't know if you can see it. I love this one. Grape. Uh, real cheap. It's like a buck. Uh, 
one of these makes two quarts, so just take two quart, the two quart container that you would normally put, I don't know, sweet tea, water, whatever in, that's two quarts, mix this in, sugar free, low calories, you're still drinking water and staying hydrated and making everyone that hates the taste of water happy. Plus, you know, it's also good, you know, good to break up. The monotony, I guess, of drinking, having to drink water, because you know, you know how it gets. If you're forced to drink one thing, regardless of how much you like it, eventually it gets old. So, it's just good to have a few different of them around, I guess. Uh, definitely have a ton of water. Um, food. Now, I, you know, a lot of people tell you to go get that freeze-dried stuff, and I guess if you're long-term storing, that's a good idea. But, uh, this video is not about that. This video is just a basic, uh, winter time's coming, you want to hurry up and get yourself ready. So, I went out and got stuff that I would normally eat, because you see a lot of videos, even for small-time prepping, for short-term prepping, stuff that you're only going to keep on for a year, and then next year you're just going to get more stuff. Switch it out. But they're always telling you to get stuff that you don't even use on a normal day-to-day -day basis. How much sense does that make? If the power goes out, my life is still going to continue on the same as it would if it's on. The difference is I'm not going to watch TV, play Xbox, do whatever. But life doesn't change just because there's a power outage. So why should my eating habits change? That doesn't make any sense to me. So for just normal little snack things, I'm kind of hungry, but I don't want to get into my food, normal food supply like any of these cans and waste a can so I got some of the, these Nature Valley crunchy granola bar oats and honey things because I love these. I got like a big 24 pack at Sam's Club. It was real cheap. I can't remember how much it was. Like two or three bucks. Got some of these. These are good for like a year. Tropical fruit, tropical trail mix. These are delicious. I mean. uh, got some tomato soup and stuff. Chunky soup. Uh, beefaronis, all sorts of stuff. This isn't everything I have. This is just for visual, visual, God, visuals, oh my God, so you can see it. Can't, God, maybe I should have drank, drunk a beer before I did this video. Can't talk. Sorry if I keep squinting my eyes and it's bugging you, but I can't find my damn sunglasses anywhere, and this is like the eighth time I did this video, because stuff keeps screwing up every time I try and freaking shoot it. I digress. So, uh, what I like about this stuff is, uh, this doesn't have one of those pop tops. This does. It has its own can opener. What can you go wrong with that? Uh, but for stuff that you don't have, the automatic, or its own self-opening lid, make sure you have a manual can opener. Because, I mean, look at that. That right there will keep me, at least me, good for a couple days, so... That's not even like a, a tenth of what I have. Look at that. So while you're out trying to hunt down squirrels and stuff with your BB guns, I'll just be eating Chef Boyardee laughing at you. Because I'm fat. So anyway, uh, real quick. Uh, but for people that don't like to eat this kind of stuff just fresh out of the can, one thing I found at Walmart was this. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, but it was cheap enough that when I saw it, I was just like, oh my god. Basically what it has is uh, some emergency candles. This lasts for 55 hours. Tiny emergency candles. Six of them last up to nine hours. A couple of the sterno heaters. And this is why I bought it. Because it has this little folding thing. Fold folding thing. Jesus. Folding stove. And, alright, I did this once before, so I wouldn't look like a complete jackass on, on tape, on camera. There we go. I did it! You know how many times I did that? I mean, before I did the first video, I actually only ever put it together once, but for some reason I keep saying that in every video, and now I look like a freaking pro at putting this together, so just thought I should tell you that. But I like this. I haven't tried this all yet. Um, just open this up. Yeah. 
And there's these little hooks inside here. Take your little sterno heater, or yeah, sterno heater. Pop off the top, light the little wick inside. Piss. Set it on the little hooks. Do that, it's lit. And take your little frying pan or little pot you have. We'll just pretend for discussion's sake that this is a pot. Set it on there, cook your stuff. Don't cook the can on there, please. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, I haven't used this yet. And another thing, whoa, oh, my eight minutes is up. Uh, I haven't used that yet. Real quick, just want you guys to see one more thing since we're on the topic of clean, uh, cooking. This uh, Coleman Coleman uh, Perfect Flow camping stove. And basically, what you do is oh, that was loud. It comes with a base. Set your uh, propane tank in there. I don't even know if you can see this. And then there's a little needle right here. That would set on top of there. Turn it on. You can cook. I haven't used these yet, uh, I basically just bought it on a whim because I saw the other videos of people using it and also reviews online that I saw and they were all pretty good, so I decided to get it, uh, not a big fan of, you know, using propane in the house, unless you have a carbon monoxide monitor because, uh, propane can kill you, can kill you, God. With carbon monoxide poison and everything. That's one th reason why I love these sternos because they're clean and they're safe for inside the house. So, plus they last, you know, good two to three hours, two and a half, three hours. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do, and I don't know if it'll be my next video because I want to do a couple more videos because I said I was going to break this down. I'm going to test out the Coleman stove. I'm going to test out the uh, sterno folding stove do a video on that so you guys can get a good look at it see how it all works but uh, until then I'm out of time thanks for watching I hope you come back for the rest of the videos uh, thank you so this is the Pudge Man and this was your dose of R&R &R for the day